Welcome back to the channel. This week the garden has really started to get green and growing pretty good. I am going to be starting my Sluggo Plus, putting some of that out. It's an organically listed uh, insect control. I have um, a lot more holes and chew marks on some of the plants than more than I want. It's probably from uh, like roly polies and earwigs and I've seen a lot of cutworms around the yard too so um, the turnips are looking really nice except for all of the chew marks that are going on but the Sluggo Plus will help with that. So pulling some of these out and they're starting to get a little bit of size on them which is great and we'll probably thin a few of these out and give some more room for others to get a little bigger. When you plant these, they, the seeds is actually kind of a pod, so they grow together like this and you have to thin some of them out. But they are looking really good for this week. So that's our Hakurai turnips. Over here is the beets. This is the bull's blood and I don't see any really beets forming. And this is one of the celery plants that I've got out here. It's starting to grow some new ones. And they are kind of getting crowded out by all of these carrot seeds that have come up. Um, I'll probably start thinning some of these out just to give more room for everything that's in here. There's also um, a pink celery right here. It's kind of getting a little crowded. And then another little celery down on this corner. So, lots of volunteer carrots. So I am gonna pull out the carrot just to see what they're at like. And they're just matchstick size, so. Not really much for a carrot to pull out, but I am going to have to thin some of these out just to give more space for what I've got in here. So on this side um, is a random bok choy that's going to seed. And the peas have really gotten tall, looking really good. I have two flowers so far and hopefully there will be a lot more coming on so we can have some peas. But so far they're looking really nice. Now down here is the cabbages, and as you can see, I have something just eating chunks out of my cabbage leaves. Like, just big holes are starting to come into these leaves, and I don't know if it's birds which can start to eat some of it, or if it's just cutworms. I haven't seen grasshoppers around, so I'm thinking it's cutworms that are in here somewhere. I don't see um, the cabbage loopers worms around. I have seen the little white butterflies flying around, but I haven't seen the worms on the cabbages, but obviously there's something um, around here that is starting to eat them. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of this Lego out first and see if that'll start taking care of the problem. Over here in the corner is potatoes and they're just looking good. They're starting to flower over here on this side, but so far the plants look good and I'll just let them keep going. But over here again is more cabbages and they are really starting to get eaten. So I'll put out my sluggo and see if that'll help start stopping some of this because they really are getting eaten all of a sudden. Over here is the Chinese cabbage, and you can see the ones over here on the edge are starting to get more of like the romaine look. And these ones are a little just too thick. I need to thin out more of these that's in this side because they're not going to be able to have space to form an actual head. Um, so I'll take out the ones that are starting to go to seed. And these thin ones that don't have space, I'll just give them some more space to get a little bigger. 
So, and then over here again is the beets. And I don't see much for beets. These are the ones that I'm going to eat. The white avalanche um, variety. And that's all for this bed. So the tomatoes, I need a clip. Some of these up higher. Some of them are starting to get a little taller. I need to go up. This one though, the top. Is um. It's split and this one isn't doing anything. I need to get some tomato clips. Especially for that one. Mm -hmm. Yep. But that flower over there is really, is tall. And all of our dill that's covering up some of our carrots. I need to pull some of that. Yep. Should I start pulling some of the dill? And then our daikon radish that's flowering. Uh -huh. And here I planted a spaghetti squash and a yellow squash because our bok choy is going to seed. And I pulled that out. And you can see the purple is already going to see too. So last week, this one was small and these were just little. So I picked off the big one and now all these are ready mm -hmm. and this one's ready with some small ones coming mm -hmm. And here's the kids' garden with the beans, pumpkin, the melons, more pumpkins, cucumbers, flowers, the flowers. Our peppers mm -hmm. and flowers. More peppers. And we got watermelons and a zucchini. And we gotta hook up the water hose again because we were mowing yesterday and it needed to get picked up. But yeah, that's the key. So out in front, um, this new garden space that we're creating, we are putting down mulch. That's a mixture of just grass and straw around our pumpkins to hopefully keep in more moisture and reduce some of the weeds. I do want these pumpkins to grow and hopefully take over so that they cover out and crowd out all the weeds out here. But they're just getting started. The corn that we just planted a few days ago is starting to come up. My 
water helper here helping me out watering some more corn that we have and what we've planted before is starting to grow really nice we have a mixture of sweet corn and popcorn that we're trying this year and then potatoes are out there in the middle so you can see the weeds are coming up but the pumpkins are also coming they're just starting to come up from seed on these little hills all over and hopefully they keep getting big and take it over and cover up all these weeds Big piece of broccoli. 